Hi, so we just saw Rob Reiner in conference. Do you want to come in, Natasha? And uh, he was actually really awesome. He was. So funny. Yeah, he was full of really awesome stories and I got to ask him a question, which is cool. Hello, Mr. Reiner. I was wondering uh, for finding new faces, uh, because of course you found so many in your uh, career, um, what does an actor or have to do to sort of get your notice? Well, I think the main thing is you're coming in to audition for a part. The thing is to not try to do anything to get noticed. And that is, <clears throat> for me anyway, I look at somebody who can just inhabit the part and not push anything and be real. I don't want somebody who's going to do handsprings in front of me. Well, of course, I didn't have an SD card. Nick, I'm on Nick's SD card now because he's saving my butt. That was probably my favorite conference. Yeah, personally. it's the only standing ovation for any conference member, too, yeah, yeah. I saw. I also awesome. took three pages of notes. Well, there you go. What it really was interesting to me is that he said, None of his films ever would have gotten made if he hadn't been so persistent. Yeah, yeah. It was tough selling Princess Bride. It was tough selling every film he ever did. He says, don't take no for an answer, which uh, is interesting. And he also said something that was great. He said, the experience of making a film is for you, but the film is for other people. It's one of the things I wrote down. And I totally <laughs> agree with that because I know, I know some filmmakers are like, I'm making a film for myself. And when I'm sitting in that theater watching the film that they made for themselves, I'm bored to tears. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, I don't know, I kind of... There are a lot of filmmakers like that that seem to be entertaining themselves. The director of Birdman, his name? Uh, Alejandro. Yeah. Um, Inarizu. Yeah, Alejandro Inarizu. He said, I make films for, for other people, of course. Like, I don't make films for myself. If I was the last person on Earth, I wouldn't make films and then watch them myself. So, I mean, you kind of have to make them for an audience. But uh, Rob Reiner's like the god at that. So uh, he is here for a new film, LBJ, which I'm going to go try and get a ticket for right now. So Ooh, tonight. I'll come with you. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Well, then uh, off to LBJ town. OK. Somewhere. Up, up and away. Whey! So we just saw this movie called Colossal, starring Anne Hathaway and Jason Sudeikis. And it's weird, it's about a sort of like a party girl, an alcoholic, who sort of sees that her life is sort of connected to a giant monster attacking soul at the same time. Um, it's a really weird concept. What did you think of the movie? Well, I thought it was the greatest giant monster movie about alcoholism I've ever seen. Yeah, well, I mean... Uh, I haven't had such mixed feelings about a movie in a really long time. It was strikingly original. It was definitely entertaining. I mean, it kept me kept me entertained the whole time. But also, there are parts in it that I found kind of genuinely embarrassing to watch. The ending was felt very silly. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's just, it's, I, I kind of agree. It's kind of, it's weird. Like, at some point you think, oh, this is kind of cool and this kind of works, but then you're like, y you can't wrap your head around it because characters are acting so stupid. Yeah. But it is original. I'll yeah, give yeah. you that. It is incredibly, incredibly original. Uh, so, I'd like uh, to see more from this director. No, I'm definitely glad I saw it. Um, yeah. I would give this movie a really wide berth just because it's so out there. It's worth it's worth seeing just for like the strangeness factor. Yeah, yeah. Colossal. Anne Hathaway and Jason Sudeikis. Monsters and alcoholism. Both. Bad. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's weird. Welcome to Between Two Ferns with Laura and Brennan. And uh, Laura was here for the Toronto International Film Festival. And she's another Ottawa local. It's your first time at TIFF, right? It's my first time at TIFF. Yeah. And I've been here all week. Yeah. And so what did you think? It's been incredible. Yeah. I've met a million and one fantastic new people, lots of contacts, and a lot of people from Ottawa. Actually, yeah. A lot of Ottawa talent here. And hopefully we'll bring it back there and keep growing that community. What do you think that you learned at TIFF that you couldn't have learned staying at home? That I couldn't have learned or that I wouldn't have listened to uh, that anything is possible. You just have to do it. You All just right. have to do it and you, you can find people who can help you and you know, create. You can, you, can, you can find the team and you can make it happen. What I learned last year for the first time, and then again this year that really cemented everything, I found out where I fit mm. in the film industry. That's cool. So like living in, in Ottawa and going to little Ottawa festivals like Digi60 or things like that, they're great. They're and awesome. I, and I love them. But coming here and watching short films that get into what is the second largest film festival in the world, 
and seeing like acting wise what yeah. people are putting forward and story wise and um, just pushing barriers. Pushing barriers. Yeah. But actually, I, what I found last year and again it was mirror this year is that I didn't really feel as that far off. I, I came here last year originally thinking that I was going to be blown away and I was going right. to be inspired to go to even higher heights or yeah. or be like completely ruined thinking I'll never be ever as good as these people. And what I found was the opposite, is that it's not that far. Yeah, that's what I mean. Anything is possible. Yeah. It's really not that, it's not as hard as you think. Like you're the only one standing in your way if you're not doing something. Yeah, exactly. Thanks so much for, yeah. uh, for being on the blog. And, Thanks for uh, having me. Of course. On the blog. Between two ferns with Laura and Brennan. Ha, 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 ha.